here with Keith from the Aviation Maintenance Technology Program, and he's going to be giving us a tour of the new Aviation Maintenance Technology Building. So Keith, take it away. Well, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, you're at the entrance of the building where we're coming in. Uh, we're standing in front of our display, uh, display case that we have for everybody to look at with some very old but very unique objects for the airframe and power flight division. Uh, our first classroom that we look at here is going to be for general. Uh, the general students, this is where all the people start. You'll notice we have a few students studying in there at this time. General class is where people get started in aviation. It basically is to teach the students tools, uh, basic electricity. They also have math and physics. There's quite a diverse starting to being an AMP mechanic, just learning the basics. After you get through this, which is a 400 hour class that you have to go through, uh, we start in our airframe classroom. And most of our students are in this classroom now. And in our airframe classroom, this is where they're going to start to learn the basics of what it takes to keep an aircraft flying. We're going to be dealing with hydraulic systems and electrical systems. And as you can tell by our cabinets, we have them divided up into different subject matters, everything from structures to hydraulics to um, air compressors. There's, as you can tell, some things are as simple as rivets and screws that they have to learn. Yeah. A lot of people don't understand that it gets kind of complex when you're trying to do that. It's just not a screw that you pull out of your toolbox. <laughs> there are different types. Right, yeah. Um, and it's teaching people this so they understand how an airplane works and what it takes to put it together. So this class is almost double the time the general because this is where they really learn to be a mechanic. Okay. And they are going to be building a lot of different structures in here. Just to show you an example, and we'll see this out in the shop when we get out there too, but our students are now building one of these. Wow. And they have to build this from scratch. Okay. Their own metal, they have to bend it, they have to design it, they have to put all the rivets in, wow. and you'll see them working on that. There are some other objects that they have to do, but it shows not just thought, but mechanical ability to be able to work with your hands. A little bit important to be able to work and be able to think at the same time. It's not as easy as some people think, but it is a lot of fun <laughs> and they really enjoy it. And they get to make noise. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so as we go down the hallway, um, this is sort of our makeshift lunchroom, but okay. a lot of students go elsewhere to eat, but it is kind of a nice place where we can gather at lunch and talk and have some good conversations about airplanes and just enjoy our lunch hour together. For sure. half an hour. Yeah. The general offices for the three instructors are in here. Um, airframe, which is Eric Fork, uh, general instructor, which is myself, Keith Starcher, and then Dan Moore is in the back office. Unfortunately for us, Dan Moore is going to be retiring and he will be missed. He has a lot of knowledge of this school a lot of information in his head, and we are really hoping that his replacement will be somebody of equal caliber, because he is, he is definitely something you cannot replace. Right. You can just put somebody back in there again. Yeah. Uh, good man, good yeah. with the students. So we'll be, we'll be missing. This is our power plant room. Once again, this section is as long as the airframe. Okay. And obviously in this section, they are going to learn to rebuild engines. Okay. From top to bottom. Wow. Um, out there you will find that they're going to be rebuilding reciprocating engines, which are piston. Okay. And we also have part of the class at this point in their class studies working on turbine engines. Okay. We do the PT-6 and we have a King Air with two, so they're going through that engine now. And they're going to be doing inspections on it, repairs on it. We don't tear them down and rebuild them, it's a little too expensive to do that. But they will learn every section of the engine and how it comes apart how it goes back together, and how to repair and maintain it. That's awesome. So will students um, take this apart and then put it back together before they graduate the program? The is reciprocating that... engine yeah. is absolutely a project that they have to completely tear down, measure, wow. inspect, and then put it back together and make it run. That's crazy. That is cool. It is. Yeah. I think this is probably a lot of the students excel on this if they're really kind of uh, into engines. 
Okay. If they've worked on their own cars or motorcycles or go-karts, whatever it is, if they know how an engine works, they really like this part of the job because not only do they get to tear it apart, put it together, but they get to run the engine. Yeah. So they will go out on a test stand and they actually get to put power before it. And every time we run an engine, it's almost like the entire class will go out there and if it runs, everybody gives a cheer because awesome. it's, it's kind of a passage that yeah. you make your engine run and everybody's right behind you when it happens. For sure. It's fun to watch. Good camaraderie, it's yeah. good teamwork. It all works well together. That's awesome. So let's take a trip in the shop and we'll show you what they're doing out there. Okay, awesome. When we first come in, you'll notice that our power plant side is on the left okay. and our airframe is gonna be on the right. Okay. So as we go through, you'll notice when we're talking, these gentlemen are now putting their engine together. Okay. They're going to have to paint this to make it look nice, but they've actually got the case together and everything's going together. One piece at a time. Yeah, for sure. Uh, the beginning stage, like you see here, where you have the engine torn apart completely. Yeah. You have the case, the crank, the piston rods, everything is in its rack, numbered, and placed. And these guys are just now getting to the point where they're starting to put this one together. That is so cool. And when they're done, it will be running. That is so cool. That's awesome. So does everybody have to buy their own parts? Absolutely not. That is covered by the college. Okay. We have spare parts, we bring in parts. Uh, because we tear these engines apart and put them together numerous times, yeah. really the only thing we're really buying is gaskets. Okay. Because they're really not running for hundreds of hours, they're just running for the few hours to get their tests done. And then they're set aside for the next few. Okay. Who takes it back apart? And really the only thing we're replacing is gaskets. So it's not too expensive when it comes to that. That's awesome. That's so cool. Now you'll notice down there, it's kind of crowded, but we have our King Air, and they are now working on what they call the PT6 engine on that, okay. which is a turboprop engine. So it's a turbine engine that drives a propeller. What's amazing about that is that propeller is not directly connected to the turbine. Okay. You can literally start that engine and hold that propeller, really? and it will not move. Wow. But when you let go of it, it's going to move. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it's funny how it works, but that's the way the turbine engine works. Wow. So right now they're doing uh, what we would call a hundred hour on the engine. Okay, yeah. Uh, so they're having to change the fuel filters, oil filters. They're having to inspect the starter generators, make sure everything's working right. They have to remove components, reinstall components, and then they put the cowling back on. And then, once again, we will be putting that outside and running those engines. Okay. Because that is the next step, is you have just now inspected it, and now we're going to make sure it's running. Okay. And that will be their chore out there, all of them. will get their chance to go up there, start it, run it, and test it. That's so cool. And I think a lot of students really enjoy that, yeah. just for the fact that starting an engine and running an engine kind of helps you get some, some good feelings about your job and where yeah. you're going. 